Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Juneteenth. Oh yeah, today is the day. And all week I've been saying like Juneteenth is sort of like our 4th of July because 4th of July, uh, we weren't free as slaves. So this morning, we're going beyond the headline to the history of Juneteenth. Slavery in the land that we know today as the United States began in 1619 when European settlers brought in African slaves to use them for free labor. From then until the 1800s, millions of Africans were brought to the New World for that very reason. But the country eventually became bitterly divided over slavery, plus several more issues that triggered the Civil War. The war dragged on and President Abraham Lincoln was looking for a way to hit the South hard. On January 1st, 1863, he released the Emancipation Proclamation that formally freed slaves. But now don't get too excited. They weren't actually freed right away. The North and South would keep fighting for another two years. In April 1865, Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered. Less than a week later, President Lincoln was assassinated. Two months after that, Major General Gordon Granger marched Union troops to Galveston, Texas to finally enforce emancipation. That day was June 19, 1865. For the slaves, my ancestors, you can imagine the news was met with a range of emotions from pure shock to widespread celebration. Well, the holiday lost some of its popularity in the early 1900s, but came back for the civil rights movement. Fast forward to 1980, and that's when Texas made Juneteenth an official state holiday, but it's celebrated in African-American communities across the country with parades, BBQs, and festivals. Oh yeah, and we still have a ways to go, but we are getting there. Locally, there are a number of ways that you can celebrate Juneteenth. There are marches and protests planned in St. Pete and Tampa, as well as celebrations like public picnics. And the Tampa Bay Juneteenth Coalition is hosting a cookout at Kings Forest Park today. So if you don't want to leave your house, you know, want to cozy up at home and celebrate online, you can. The Miss Tampa Bay Juneteenth Coalition pageant is tonight on Facebook Live and kids can learn about Juneteenth and emancipation with the Children's Day at the museum. Just look it up on Eventbrite to reserve a spot and there you have it.